worst date? Oh, Jesus. Okay, <laughs> I know, I know, okay, I know one that was pretty bad. It was a long time ago when I was just graduated college and and I didn't know what to do. So I had never like been on a date at that point ever. Past college. No, all the way up to that point, I'd never been on a date. How old were you? How old yeah. yeah. I was at that point, I was 23. Still never been on a date. Okay. So I just do what I think you do. You go to dinner and a movie. Okay. Okay. So I guess I guess worst I guess this would be worth date. But so I we went to dinner. I don't know where we went. I think I, I mean I was stupid back then. So I thought like chain restaurants were I don't remember where we went, but I know I definitely know it was a chain restaurant because we didn't have Google back then. So how was I gonna fucking know? Nothing wrong with a chain restaurant. Calm down. On the, on, a, on a first date, it's pretty bad. <laughs> you can't do that to anybody now. But we went and then we went to watch this is how old it is. You you didn't know what year it was. We went to watch that movie. It was in theaters. It's called What Women Want. It's Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, wow. Yeah. Before he was canceled. Yeah. yeah, that's if you want to Google to see how old that was. So we went to see that, which is a terrible idea. So I didn't know because I didn't know anyway. So we went there, we saw that, and and nothing happened after the date. So then uh that this is back when like cause People had to give me advice, like, okay, so you gotta wait like a couple of days before you call, whatever. And so I called in a couple of days and it hit voicemail, okay? Mm. And I left a voicemail. And then I guess, I mean, in hindsight, I know all this now. I can't believe I existed like this. No, but I'm just saying, okay, first of all, let's just clear the air here. Nothing you're saying sounds bad. I think it's a conversation you might no. have had because going to a restaurant and going to a rom com is pretty yeah, standard. But, yeah, but understand that to me, this was. One date is extended out until you get the second date. Okay. So like meaning like I was waiting for her to call back. She never called back. And then like a couple days later, I call back again, left a voicemail, which is creepy. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. This is 2000 though. Remember this. Like we don't have, right. you know, yeah. there's no blogs or anything to give you any etiquette. There's no, I didn't have an older brother to tell me shit. This, I'm all in my head. I'm just okay. stuck with this. There's nothing to look up online. What's the proper, now kids have it made. You're creepy now. That's on you. That means you have either <laughs> creepy, <laughs> Shitty Wi-Fi connection or something, but back then I had nothing. I'm gonna ask my dad for advice. My dad an arranged marriage. You don't fucking know. So, <laughs> so then I wait. Then I wait a couple more days, and then I leave another message. Okay, still haven't gotten anything. So that's already the worst date ever. Three. <laughs> so then I give it like four or five days, and then this is the vo the voicemail. I left something to this effect on the voicemail. Hey, uh, I don't even remember what the girl's name was, but let's say let's say Mary. Hey Mary, uh, I listen. I I really don't think this is gonna work out between us. Like, I left one of those. I'm gonna give you the short version. I left like a 45 second thing. Yeah. So. Wow. So you asked to get with her. In my head, there was already a in my head there was already a relationship going on. <laughs> okay. Okay. That I'm telling you. Did anything during this day indicate that she was like, "Yo, bro." I mean, nothing happened. She didn't kiss me. Didn't she barely no, half. But, she did the half hug at the end. But like conversation wise, like was she interactive or were you just talking at her? I, I really don't remember because I was really shy back then. So I, I assume I didn't say anything. <laughs> or like, uh, so how's your awesome blossom? I probably said something awkward like that or something. She probably getting the voicemails. Oh, now he talks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I consider that whole thing a really bad first date. I don't think anything's wrong with a chain restaurant on a first date. My my oh, first date, it, my first date with my husband now was on a chain restaurant and it caught fire. Okay. <laughs> like years later. Your heart, your heart, or the chain restaurant? Both. both. Okay. Most of the restaurant that was very smoky. <laughs> what, what was it? What was it? Uh, what macaroni grill? Oh, okay. Okay. Caught fire, and then they're like escorting people out, but we were in the bar area, and I'm like, I'm gonna finish my twelve dollar meal. Okay. Yeah, tw and eleven years later, totally worked out. By the way, so don't okay. be knocking the chains. Okay. I think it might have been the company. I mean, I'm sure it was me. I mean, I know it was, <laughs> it was definitely me. I mean, she didn't say anything back. I always have a feeling that she's going to be at a show, but I don't even know what she looks like. I mean, this was twenty twenty one years ago. I was going to ask, did you ever try to like? I don't remember. Her. I don't remember. Her. Yeah. Okay. She locked it out. Her, her name is in one of my first because it was around the time I started doing stand up. So her name, her name and number at the top of one of them somewhere. Oh. I should Facebook it. I should just be go back and find it. And now you're being the creeper. Okay. <laughs> did you That's did you get my voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I did it. I can't believe nobody talked about it. It was hard before Google and and the internet. It was hard yeah. to figure it out. Dude. Well, if you're watching this episode and you want to reach, <laughs> reach out to Paul, please do. 
This is so much. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing here. <laughs> All right. Uh, did, we, did you guys ever answer these questions back? If, you, if, if, if you're asking, yeah. like shit. Can we change the name of this podcast? Making our guests feel like shit. <laughs> podcast. We could do that. What's, uh, the worst, what's your worst show on stage? What's the worst first date? What's the challenge you don't want to show anybody? <laughs> Can you do anything else besides comedy? If I gave you money, would you quit telling jokes? I'm like, what is who is this? Oh. There's not even you're right. There's not even one positive question. There's all, all negative stuff here. We but. might have been we might have been in a mood when we wrote this. Do you think? I hope nobody's watching this. <laughs> There's at least four more people that I know that watch this. Oh now. my god. We have 23 subscribers, Paul. 23 people watch this. When did that happen? Yay! <laughs> I'm dying. I am dying right now. Oh my god! I did not put this Sorry. Reach, reach into your Pyrex cup. What's what's that? What's in there? Oh yeah. Uh, this is this is not a negative one. This one's. Um, would you would you like to get into acting, or have you ever dabbled into it? Would, so when you quit stand up, are you going to go into acting? That's what that's what you basically. Since this shit's not working for you, you want to go into movies. You know? <laughs> That's a logical jump. That's exactly what it was written. I just changed the wording. Yeah. I did. 